Okay, let us go to the book of Psalms, chapter 131, and we read verse 23 and verse 24. Verse 23, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties. And see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Can I repeat it? Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties. And see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting heading of the message of today a pure heart a pure heart what is a pure heart where well, we have read the bible is saying search me O god and know my heart when you open your heart unto the lord you allow him to search through and into your heart so that you can be what he himself, God, wants you to be. Because here on earth where we are living, we are living according to our own desires, according to our own thinking, and according to our own ways. So now what is a pure heart? A pure heart is a heart without blemish. A pure heart is a clean heart. An undefiled heart. This heart, how does it come to be in a way of being pure? It's when it has been given unto the Lord or handed over to the Lord for the Lord to try it and search it. When the Lord tries our heart and searches through our hearts or in our hearts he cleans them and make sure that there is nothing that is identifying our hearts when our hearts are clean there is nothing that is found in them so in front of God a heart that is needed it's a pure heart. Moyama unyaka pilu etsekeleng pilu esinang di chila pilu esinang di taba pilu yau toka di tele pilu yau yau toka di kanyo pilu e isadu mingli di lo chaba atu. That's the heart that God wants. So mo pisala maha walo remudi mo ori pilu ye yaka. For my heart to be a kind of a heart that you want, can you please search it? Can you please look into it? Can you please turn it upside down so that you can see if this heart is worthy to belong unto you? And God, I also ask you, try me also. Try me in all these situations of life so that you can see if my heart is worthy to fall in one of those that you call your own. When God searches your heart, He searches it so that He can be able to clean it. The problem is, God does not search your heart if you didn't give your heart to him. In other words, God does not come a hijack a piluya lena. He does not come and hijack your heart and turn it upside down without your consent. When God tries and searches your heart, it's because you have agreed or you have given him uh, access to your heart so that he can search it 
Why? Because you want your heart to be a pure heart. A heart that makes God to be happy. A heart that satisfies what God wants. 